going to walk you through the steps of drawing a box in two-point perspective. I'm going to use this big ruler just to reach across my long paper. Otherwise, we can use a normal size ruler. I'm going to start by drawing my horizon line. This is where this is going to be the ground meets the sky, or if it's inside, this would be the floor meeting the wall. So this is my horizon line. Since we're drawing in two point perspective, I'm gonna add two vanishing points. And these would be the spots that, vanishing points. These would be the spots where everything, as it gets closer to the vanishing point, gets smaller and smaller and smaller and vanishes. So then, the next thing I'm gonna do is draw the very front edge of my box. So it's going to be straight up and down or vertical. I put a dot on the top and the bottom of that line so that I can match up my vanishing point with that dot. So I'm touching my ruler to my vanishing point and the dot on the end of my line. I'm drawing a line to connect those. Do that on the top also. And I'm going to connect them to the other vanishing point. And same with the top of the box. So now, if there this were a big, really big box, this would be the side that's getting smaller and smaller and smaller as it's approaching the vanishing point. And this would be another side that's getting smaller and smaller and smaller as it's approaching the vanishing point, but I'm gonna cut it off so it's not that big of a box. So I'm gonna draw another straight up and down line from the bottom line that I drew here to the top and same on the other side just checking to make sure my ruler is straight up and down now this is my box so I'm going to erase this line because I can't see through my box and I'm going to erase these helper lines those were just to tell me where or make sure that my my top and my bottom edges of my boxes were matching with the vanishing point. So I'm erasing these. And as I add details around my box, I'm not going to be able to see these lines as well. And same thing with inside my box. As I add color and shading, I'm not going to be able to see the lines as well. So it's okay if you can see them a little bit. So now I've got the front edge of my box here. This is the bottom of my box. The side edge. Here's the top of my box. It's the other top side of my box. The other side and then the other bottom side. So now you can see that the box is sitting here on the floor. I've got the wall behind it. Or if it's outside, maybe it's a house. This is the ground and this is the sky behind it.